Imagine you are walking through a normal residential area, and suddenly, you see a house that looks quite normal from the front, but from the side, it appears as if the house is just as wide as a refrigerator. Exactly such an extremely thin house really exists in the American state of Illinois. When a few young people walked past the house some time ago, they couldn't stop laughing and posted extra videos of the building on TikTok, which even went viral shortly afterwards. But actually, the house looks quite different from the inside than you would expect. In fact, there are many thin and unusual houses all over the world, which we will now introduce to you in this video. You can expect not only the thin house from Illinois, but also architectural masterpieces in the smallest space in Japan, and a house from Germany, which has the official title of the smallest house in the Republic. So keep watching and stay tuned here at Wonderland. Before we show you the world's thinnest house from the inside, we'll start this video with a completely crazy house in Kiel in northern Germany. And this house is even narrower than a car. Probably the narrowest house in Germany, its thinnest point is only an incredible 80 centimeters. Architect Bjorn Simpson, who is also the owner of this unusual building, has effectively exploited the former gap between neighboring houses. However, in order to have enough space with his family of four, he had to go high up. A full six floors were built on a footprint of just 29 square meters, allowing him to create a living space of 100 square meters. Moreover, there is only enough space for a single room per floor. Since the house is widest at the front, at 4.9 meters due to the structural conditions, but it gets narrower and narrower towards the back. Simmons also had to get creative with the arrangement of the rooms, so the family uses the wider areas for their living spaces, such as bedrooms and living rooms, and the narrower areas at the back have become bathrooms. The four residents stay athletically fit by climbing the 71 steps of the house. Japan is at least as creative as Germany when it comes to building narrow spaces. In fact, in the Japanese capital Tokyo alone, almost 10 million people live in an area of 600 square kilometers, even though the area is 200 square kilometers smaller. As a result, a four-person household in Tokyo, for example, has an average living space of only 30 square meters. In addition, one pays, on average, about 1,300 euros for it. The Japanese man, Motohara Shinohara, decided against renting and instead bought his own home. He had one of Japan's best-known micro-architects, Kota Mizuishi, build a house based on the shape of his small plot of land. This not only created a rather abstract look, but also made good use of every inch. In fact, the detached corner was specifically cut out so that Motohara has a parking space for his bikes. There are also exclusively sliding doors, as these are significantly more space-saving. The interior has been designed to be very open, making the mere 55 square meters of floor space look like much more. The roof is also put to good use here. The height of the roof makes it too low for adults, so Motohara's children can romp around. But the house will not stand for a long time. Actually, houses in Japan, especially in Tokyo, have a lifespan of only 26 years before they are torn down and rebuilt. One of the reasons is that inheritance taxes are so massive that most heirs are forced to divide the property in order to be able to pay the high taxes by selling it. This means that perhaps a few years ago, where there was a house with a garden, today up to four new houses have been built. But now, let's move on to the unusually narrow house from Illinois mentioned earlier. The house with its ordinary exterior facade actually seems quite normal. But only when you look at it from the sides do you realize that the house has a really unusual shape. The absurd building can only really be understood if you look at it from above. The pie house is actually shaped like a piece of cake. At its narrowest point, it is just one meter wide and then gets bigger and bigger so that at the end, it even reaches a width of six meters. Incredibly, this narrow house actually has a size of 150 square meters, with two bedrooms as well as two bathrooms, which makes it easy to accommodate a family of four here. It also has a large eat-in kitchen. Due to the tapered shape, the room has the effect that the two areas virtually flow into each other. 
The reason for this extremely unusual building was not simply to be different, but to comply with the building regulations of the district. These stated that every house in the area had to have the same distance from the sidewalk. Due to the lack of space, the builder was left with only this area, and so he built his cake house. By the way, it was sold in May 2021 for $295,000, which is probably an absolutely normal purchase price for this neighborhood. But in Germany too, there is nothing inferior to the Japanese when it comes to mini housing. In fact, this mini house in Bremen even made the headlines last year. This was probably due in part to the fact that it was bought by the YouTuber Finn Kleeman. The 100-year-old house actually has a living space of just 4 square meters, making it Germany's smallest house. The selling price of the house was less small. His previous owner, Ortwin, actually sold the small brick cottage for a proud 77,777 euros. At the same time, in addition to the living area, it has a kitchenette and a separate bathroom with a shower, as well as a small basement, which is just one square meter in size and is only waist deep. The roof offers additional space as a terrace, or as Ortwin once used it, as a chicken coop. Finn wants to make it a small vacation home, and with his craftsmanship and imagination, you can be curious what he will conjure up from this mini house. We continue with a house that even has a name, Love 2 House. Even from the outside, you can tell that the building is extremely unusual, simply because of the striking concrete tube. The huge tube has only one function, to provide light. Due to the reflections of the concrete, its inhabitants have a very special light atmosphere. In addition, the large tube helps at least for a feeling of more space, because the actual living space of the house is actually only 19 square meters. Nevertheless, you can find two rooms, a kitchen, as well as a bathroom. Partially, the living areas are separated from each other, only by half-height concrete walls, which makes everything look very open and dynamic. It was designed by Hosaka-san. He himself actually lives in the small home with his wife, Megumi. According to the couple, it is not too cramped. Nevertheless, the couple only uses the house as a second home during the week. Their main residence is their love house in Yokohama. This house also has a living space of only 33 square meters. We found this very unusual living concept in Tokyo. In this inconspicuous apartment block, mainly students live in probably one of the smallest apartments in Tokyo. The manager specifies different living concepts. This means that the focus is on the part of the apartment that is most important to the resident. This means that the focus is on the part of the apartment that is most important to the resident. Ueda, for example, is more the bathroom type. This becomes clear as soon as you enter his apartment. You actually stand almost directly in his bathroom because that was particularly important to the student. In addition to the bathtub, sink, and shelves, there is only room for a clothes rail. Sleeping is on a second level, where Ueda only has room for his mattress. There is actually no kitchen. That's why Ueda has to eat every meal outside or get something to eat in his bathtub. All in all, he says he spends a lot of time in the bathtub, not only eating, but also reading or watching series. Okazaki lives one floor above him. She is more of a living room type. That's why the Spartan living area, made of wooden pallets, takes up most of the space. Behind a space-saving sliding door is a micro bathroom. On the wall opposite, she has a small kitchenette. That's it. But Okazaki, who is also a student, sees this as a big advantage, less effort to clean. Incidentally, the rent for the small apartments is between $500 and $600. Let's continue with a whole series of unusual houses. Tiny houses are becoming increasingly popular all over the world. Architects and owners are coming up with a lot of ideas, especially with regard to space-saving elements. This is because tiny houses are actually no larger than 50 square meters. Precisely because of this particularly small area, some of them are even portable and offer their inhabitants boundless freedom on wheels. This is also the case with what is probably the smallest tiny house on wheels ever built. 
Its inventor, Jeff Smith from Boston, has tested the limits of building a tiny house. He really succeeded in doing something incredible. With a length of just two meters and a width of one meter, he has constructed a fully equipped house. The two square meter house supposedly offers everything needed for living. A kitchen area, including a small hot plate, a mini sink with running water, and a folding table. Since the house is also barely a meter high, you can only crawl inside it. Standing is only possible if you open the roof to the outside. The advantage of this size? Not only can you push it wherever you want, but it even fits into the trunk of a regular van. Anyone who wants to try out this truly extraordinary experience can rent the vehicle from Jeff for a proud $55 per night. Similarly minimalist, Eskel from Finland has built an entire camp consisting of many houses. The location he chose for this is particularly unusual. Actually, he chose a frozen lake on which he can pull the houses with the help of a simple snowmobile. All of his tiny houses are built on skids. The special highlight of the houses, the roof. It is made entirely of glass and for a very specific reason. Tourists who rent Esco's unusual houses want one thing above all, to see the northern lights. And of course, the best way to do that is with an unobstructed view of the sky, so that it doesn't get cold inside at outside temperatures of up to minus 40 degrees each mini house even has its own electric heater. There is also a small toilet and plenty of storage space so that in the narrow skid house, even up to two people have a place. But in fact, it can be even more extreme. The narrowest house in the world, which stands in Warsaw, is just 152 centimeters long at its widest point. Its narrowest point even measures just 92 centimeters. Similar to Kiel, the narrow gap between two neighboring houses was used as a building site with the help of a steel structure. Thanks to the planning of the Polish architect Jacob Szczesny, it was even possible to build two floors with a total area of 14 square meters, through which, despite claustrophobic confinement, the fully furnished house actually has everything you need. This means kitchen, bathroom, as well as a bedroom. Nevertheless, no one lives in the building, which Szczesny has always regarded as an art object. So far, only one journalist has dared the experiment one night and spent the night in the 14 square meter home. The journalist described how he had already developed psychological and physical problems after that one night. That's it with our video today. Comment on which of these narrow and small houses you would like to spend a night and why. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Otherwise, we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.